Today, a special edition of State of Texas. It feels like we're not prioritizing public education. A lot of teachers have left unannounced and we were a little like curious to try to figure out what, why did they leave? Students feeling the effect on their learning as a record number of teachers exit Texas classrooms. Investigator Kelly Wiley found districts are scrambling to fill vacancies and keep teachers for the new school year. Our investigation starts at McCallum High School. It's considered by parents, students, teachers as a haven for educators. Yet it's still facing an overwhelming number of teachers leaving the profession. It is now my honor to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2022. Between the start of her senior year and her graduation, three of Alyssa Bill Spiro's favorite teachers quit. With Austin ISD superintendent sitting right behind her, Alyssa pulled out an unapproved version of her speech. Teachers are the heart and soul of our schools, and it's time the state and district started treating them with the respect and dignity that they deserve. Alyssa went to McCallum High School, a performing arts magnet in central Austin. Teachers we talked to say they love the school and students. Still, records show during the pandemic, more teachers left this campus mid-school year than almost any other in AISD. I'm Allison Cashton. I was the head of choral activities at McCallum High School. Allison Cashton left McCallum in April 2021. She resigned just after having a baby when she said she found out district policy would not allow her to continue teaching virtually. The facilities are a mess. Uh, I would teach in, when I was pregnant weekly in a class that was 85 degrees with no air circulation. And so then to trust that when they say, come back, even in a pandemic, the air will be fine, it will be safe. To trust that and to trust my safety and my family's safety and my students' safety, it was just kind of the last straw. And I just didn't want to put up with it, especially for the pay, it's not livable. This past school year, more than a thousand AISD teachers retired or resigned. 30% more than the previous school year. Statewide, districts saw a similar surge in teachers leaving the profession. At McCallum alone, teachers wrote in their exit surveys that they resigned for a better work-life balance, higher pay, and jobs outside of education. One teacher wrote she resigned because she was driving more than two and a half hours to the campus. Nicole Griffith is the principal of McCallum High School. We see more and more teachers that live outside of the district. Um, and I think that happens in many communities around the state and country where teachers can't afford to live in that community they serve. And I, I wish I could solve that problem. It just makes me feel sad. At many Texas schools, teachers resigning in the middle of the school year led to other problems. Larger class sizes, core classes with long-term substitutes. I had my biology teacher quit halfway through the year. And so for about like six weeks, I had a sub and I would pretty much just sit in class in my AP biology class for a few weeks and just not really do anything because I didn't really have the resources to do anything. The principal of McCallum says at one point, they were so low on substitutes at a time when teachers were not just resigning, but also calling out sick, that they pulled multiple classes into the cafeteria for lessons. It causes this huge ripple effect. The ripple effect that I'm talking about happens in the entire school building because permanent subs can't do everything that we ask teachers to do. So the team of teachers that that, that teacher was on takes a whole lot of the load. Cashton doesn't think she'll teach again. She says the decision to leave was ultimately right for her family. But the most difficult day of teaching was when she had to say goodbye. Oh, um, it was just such a hard decision and I care about them so much. And so I knew that it was what I needed to do, but I didn't want them to feel that I didn't care about them. And, and so it was, really hard and as teachers we often kind of put what we need aside to be the selfless ones to give all that we have for our students so to kind of have that moment of this is what I need for my family this is what I need for me isn't <laughs> totally who I am because I'm a teacher we give um, so that was really hard.
We requested data from the top 10 school districts in the state and school districts in our coverage area. Many either didn't respond or don't as a practice survey teachers on their way out. But of the school districts that did send us their data, the top reasons teachers gave were switching their careers, changing to a different school district, or family reasons. And school officials and top state leaders agree teachers simply do not make enough money to live. Coming up, we sit down with a key lawmaker to ask what can be done to keep educators when they can't afford to keep teaching.